This video describes the procedure for inserting standard parts from toolbox. It describes the steps mentioned in module 15 written by Muhammad Yunus and John O'Brien. The assembly as shown here was uh, made in a previous video. We continue using the same uh, assembly file. This is a handrail column support. The parts in here are all welded. We'll have a railing shaft passing through in between and a cap placed next to it. And the entire thing is held with the bolt, nut and a lock nut. Let's add uh, another component in this. So we click on insert component, handrail column cap. Assign concentric made between the inside faces of the two cylindrical holes. We have a parallel made between the frontal faces. and then a tangent made between the right face on handrail column top and the curved face on the handrail column cap. We now add the standard part as a bolt which will run through from the from this end and then you have a you have a standard nut and a lock nut coming on the other side. So we turn around to have a look at the circular edge here so that the size and the mate relations can be added directly onto the part that is being inserted. In the task pane you have design library and you may open up the folder for toolbox, select ISO, ISO standard, bolts and screws as the subfolder, hexagon bolts and screws, and select the bolt as grade 4014. Drag it and drop it onto the circular edge here. It takes the size of the hole. You have M12. The hole size is 12 in there, so it has taken the standard bolt as per the size of the hole, M12. We have a length of this as 50. We need some extra length to add the nut and the lock nut. So this is 65 as the, as the length of the bolt. The thread length, it could be only in this region where you have it exposed on the other side. The region inside here, uh, we don't have internal threads, so it could be a simple shaft. We can change this display to schematic to have a look at the thread region. This is the threaded region, and this is, there's no thread in this region, so we only have it up to 30 millimeter. Try not to have it in this region. You may close this uh, as we need only one of the standard part. Then we turn around to have a look at the circular edge as seen from the other side to drop the nut. In the design library, open up the folder for uh, nuts. In ISO standards, we have uh, nuts as the subfolder, hexagon nuts, and the grade as 4034. 
can drop it onto the circular edge there. If you're finding it difficult to locate that circular edge, you may drop anywhere on the screen and then assign the mate relations concentric between the two circles and uh, coincident or a distance made between these two faces, a screw mate. Then add a lock nut next to it. Open up the design library and select the grade as 4035 thin nut. It takes the size of N12. We accent this. This completes module number 15 and I acknowledge and thank Muhammad Yunus and John O'Brien for providing the two parts, handrail column top and handrail column cap.